Hey guys, it's me, your pal Gabriela, and today I'm drinking Schlitz Malt Liquor from 1982. Uh, let's see if they have any kind of slogan or anything. No, just a blue bowl. Uh, so these always hold up. The style cap, I know I've discussed this before, they never, uh, they never go bad. Rarely do these ever go bad. This will taste like brand new beer. It may have some very fine brown chunks in it, but that's about it. I'm here with my pal Dominic. Howdy. He's from out of state. I found him one day hitchhiking on the turnpike. He was sucking many colored penises, but he hadn't had white. I turned him on to a, a rainbow of pleasures. Khaki is kind of my favorite. Same, same. If you can get into a Target store and sneak up on one of those men who dress like a chiropractor, have a little sn sniff of their back door whistle hole. Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's get this open. This is a yellow cup, so you're not going to see much of the... This is all I had. I don't have any clean cups or clear cups because I just moved in. God damn. See what I mean about the head and stuff? These always stay good. Yeah. Like this beer will taste and smell and everything like it's brand new. It's going to take forever for that head to wear down though. Now I'm just going to try a little bit. I'll drink the vast majority of it. Not looking to shotgun too much malt liquor though, because I have to drive in a little bit. For legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> I would never drive drunk, and I don't uh, encourage others to. How's that smell? Not a wink on the encouraging part. If you drive drunk, and you get in an accident. It's not my fault. Uh, it smells okay. It smells like aluminum. It ain't a lot of the can. Oh, that doesn't smell bad at all. Try it. It'll taste just like new beer. 100% the way it looks. Isn't that fucked up? That's mostly foam I got, but... It's 42 years old, dude, and it tastes just like brand new beer. Yeah, that doesn't taste bad at all. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This is, a uh, like, beer from your dad's time. Like, when you're when most people's fathers, who are my age, would beat their wives... They had a nice tall can of Schlitz beforehand. Do they still make Schlitz? Uh, yeah, they do. It's harder to get. Uh, Miller bought it. It's more of a small thing, and I know it's not malt liquor anymore. It's just the original beer. Schlitz went downhill because they were once the most popular beer in America. They were the Bud Light of their, or Bud of their time. Mm -hmm. And they started using really, really bad ingredients. And Schlitz turned green when you would open the can. It got that. Yeah, it's a real thing. And so Schlitz went under, I think, in the 90s or late 80s, mm -hmm. if I remember right, because of that. And was bought out by Bud. And they shelved it for forever. They just bought it to get rid of them. And uh, came back. And it tastes like shit. Uh, but apparently it's better than the green one. See the peppering right there, up there? Of, like, gross brown? Mm -hmm. That's just... The protein chunks you saw in those other beers I was showing you. I gotcha. Here, try it. Try one more sip without the, if you can get past the head. And I promise you. I'm going to be able to. Oh, God, yeah, that is a. You don't have to drink if you don't want to. It's up to you. I never like to force people. I lure no, them. I'll take a little sip. I lure them in. I make them feel like it's their choice. I make them feel like it's their choice. Doesn't it taste like brandy beer? Yeah, that's still not bad. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Looks disgusting, but. Very sweet. Sweet yeah. and tinny. Still sitting in my house. Uh, me and the cameraman, we have a house now. We have a house. And a king size bed. And a king size bed that I have sex with men on. I'm, I'm an equal opportunity employer. Basically, I see a butthole, I lick a butthole. I see a butthole, I lick a butthole. I see a butthole, I lick a butthole. Do you understand how it works? Uh -huh. Could you walk us through it? He sees a butthole. He licks a butthole. I see a butthole. I lick a butthole. Cameraman, could you walk us through it? He sees a butthole. He licks a butthole. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm glad we all understand. Oh. It's kind of gross if you get a lot of it. It's very sweet. Yeah. I feel like liquor shouldn't be sweet. But other than that, it's really not bad. The spiral cup really adds to it. I see a spiral cup. I lick a butthole. I've always said that. Oh, fuck it. I went to a concert yesterday. It was, um... What the hell was it? Phase yeah. Fest. Phase Fest. Dude, the singer of, uh, what, what's the band? Senses Fail. Senses Fail. Yeah. Got up on stage. Listen, Wisconsin, I swear to God, is probably like 97% white, right? And he gets up on stage and starts talking about how everyone from Milwaukee, which is like five minute drive from where it was being held in Franklin, Wisconsin, who's white is a piece of shit. 
Yeah, and he was calling all them racist. Yeah, for like no reason, made no sense. And they booed at him. The guy's a fucking retard. Yeah. And he's like, well, my grandma was from Milwaukee and she's a racist piece of shit. And if you guys are from Milwaukee, you're white and racist pieces of shit too. That's okay. I'm a white piece of shit. Then I went into the mosh pit and I currently have a, I have a mild skin infection. Show them, Cameron. Show them my skin infection. Uh, I don't know how I got this, but it's like a, it's very, like, 100%. I could give it to others. And I started fucking cracking people in the face with elbows, dude. Oh my god, it was great. And I probably gave him a skin infection on their eyeballs. And then, like, some guy, he tried to, to, like, brush my chin with his fist, so I slapped him like a fucking kid. You don't fucking touch me ever, dude. Like, I swear to god, I don't care how big you are, I'll fuck you up. I was having fun in that mosh pit, dude. I told some lady I was gonna headbutt her, and she told me she'd tell security, and I said they can't unheadbutt you. Things got uh, <clears throat> things got real interesting when we got closer to the front there. Oh yeah, we just kind of bullied our way up there, and everybody's like, "We stayed here for six hours," and I'm like, "Well, now I'm standing here for like half an hour, dumbass." And then there was this little man who kept brushing past me to go to the mosh pit, and he kept violently bumping into me, so I picked him up like a child and threw him face first into the pit. And he got up like he was going to do something, but he rethought it, and then just kind of walked back to where he was. I wouldn't want to fight me either. I'm not the toughest man on earth, but. You got elbow herpes. You don't want that. That's right. Just I see a herpes, I give a herpes. See a herpes, like a bottle. I see a herpes, I like a bottle. I gnaw on the herpes. I burst it into my mouth. It's a bastion of flavor. It's like. You hear that end part? That's air going through the herpes because I've sucked all of its meaty juices out. Use a bandage Use Benny Straw? I could. I could Look at the bottom of the cup. Look at that. It's chunky. I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the things I've said during this video are pretty unhinged. I think the lead from these beers is starting to get to me. All right. Let's do it, Caleb. Okay, the old nasty gulp. Can you see it? Oh, boy. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And remember, if you ever see me in the in the pit, you get herpes elbow. Just, just, just herpes elbow. You're gonna have to get tested. I'm gonna give you a call after I elbow you in the face. Next day you're gonna get a call. After you get the I'm gonna call you up and I'm gonna go, listen, man, I'm sorry. And you're gonna go, who is this? You go, you're gonna want to get tested. Alright, thanks for watching. Look at If you see a butthole, 